Hey there, I'm Virgola, and you're listening to A Pop in the Life, Pod Fashions of a Founder's Pop. In this walking podcast, I will tell you all about my life with mom, who's a startup founder, talking startups, entrepreneurship, but also other interesting topics such as mental health and a bit of fun too. Join us in this walk of life. Welcome, welcome back in another week in the pop in the life. So, um, sorry, first of all, for not being able to actually deliver on the podcast last week on Friday. Mom was actually at a fair and that's just her fault, but she was working and um, so we didn't have a walk, but mainly also she didn't have time to post produce any episode, but the worst thing is that the idea for the actual episode came to mom while she was um, dreaming. Actually, at the time she woke up uh, exactly in, uh, in the night between Thursday and Friday. Uh, mom has a routine about uh, journaling, about dreams and stuff. So that's probably also why that came up at some point. And, um, and so she woke up with this sentence that she shared and I want to share with you. The sentence is, take emotions at face value. And um, the weird thing is that mom's first language is not English, as you can guess, and mine either. But she dreamt the thing in English. <laughs> so I'm sharing it exactly as she shared it with me. So take emotions at face value. What could that mean in the context of the dream? We have no idea. But we can know what it means if we try and interpret it. So take emotions at face value. Face value is a financial concept for which you basically, once you pay, like for example, you buy, I don't know, a bond, um, and you know the, the bond has interest on it that can match your, the face value is the actual value at which you bought it. So for example, 100 euros, that's 100 euros of face value. So it doesn't compound, it's the face value. And at some point you can uh, have financial instruments in which you get back the money with interest uh, with the face value as well. Sometimes it's just a face value, sometimes it's interest matured on the face value as well, um, adjusted for inflation, blah, blah, but let's not get into it because that's not a topic and it's, it's just not a finance podcast. Anyways, um, so what does face value mean? Face value mean if we take it and try to interpret the sentence that mom heard in the dream and just woke up with is actually taking the emotion for what it is. But let's remember it was take emotions. So you take them. It's not like you ignore them, you interpret them, you take them, you accept them inside and you let them in without refusing to, uh, to live them. Mainly, for example, if it relates to uh, fear, to sadness, for, to be angry. So those are my main three emotions that we can talk about. And uh, they have a reason why. But first off, take them at face value before interpreting them before trying to understand before trying to overcome them sometimes um, it's also better to just live them than trying to overcome them because that's the exact way for which they flow so it's like it's like saying make emotions flow it's saying take emotions at face value it's a more rational approach in which you really understand that there is a value in emotions in this sentence so they have a value also if they're bad it's not just joy that has a value it's not just um, emotions of fulfillment that have a value also emotions that are hard to accept I know that mom doesn't like I mean fear is 
a bit of something she's very used to being an entrepreneur and kind of taking the risk. It's quite obvious that the relationship with fear is kind of normal. Um, but sadness, oh my God, sadness is something that is very hard to accept, especially in certain moments that, you know, in the life, um, moments of the week. Um, Everybody is different with that, and uh, I just feel it when mom is sad, and then that's very bad, but that's also my job to try to not fix it, but like just make her remember that not only times get better, but you need to take emotions at face value. And so if we <laughs> try to interpret all of those, of those words in that, in that dream, it's like take is take them, don't push them away. Emotions, just recognize their emotions is what makes you move um, inside, right? And uh, it's like emotion. Um, and then and then the face, face. So look at them. It's not at the rear value <laughs> somehow. So look at their ass at their butt. Like just look at the front end, not at the rear end. And then value. They have a value. And then if you think about face value. It's another set of meaning, uh, meanings as well. So take emotions at face value. That's the sentence of mom's dream. And I think it can be pretty powerful to, to gain back the knowledge around our actual emotions, our actual uh, subconscious mind that can usually send us messages that we're not able to understand and, and interpret just like that. It might be harder for us to do so. But sometimes it's also easy to just accept them and let them flow. For example, last night mom just uh, dreamt about something in German. She doesn't speak German, but like it has a meaning. And so just, just <laughs> thinking about it is not, is not so understandable at face value, right? So sometimes it's just not the normal thing to ask yourself why something pops up in a dream. It's just accepting that uh, your mind flows and there is just... Um, not so many ways in which you can control it and that's okay so you cannot control emotions you can accept them though and you can just take them at face value so understand them understand that they're there um, and try and see what's the trigger and then try to probably fix the trigger but without any emotions any emotion and without the good um, the bad emotions too the good emotions were something that we could we weren't able to understand and so all of this industry of taking away sadness and anger and fear is just something that i mean it has sense when it comes to coaching because you can you can and psychology too i mean that's science not industry but you can really be better and 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 feel better but it's not about taking them away Pericola, dai. it's not about taking them away it's more about actually understanding that you live you need to live with them and um and accept the sheer fact at face value um i don't want to i don't want to sound too philosophical here i'm not even a psychologist i'm a dog but i think that also if you took emotions at face value you'd be able to live better with your animals as well because that's what we do we take emotions at face value. Um, so if you are feeling down, if you're feeling stressed, if you're just feeling that there is something that, that, that you don't feel like feeling, just try and feel it too. Feel it anyways. Embrace the suck and do it. Just many other people say, usually, when they do motivational speeches. So we take emotions at face value this Monday and we might share them with other people too. So if you feel like this face value has brought any value to you at all, please share this podcast, share my dog thoughts with other dogs. And especially if you're a dog mom or a dog dad or dog parent, just spread the voice and make people know we are just a party of taking emotions at face value and the world might be better if we do so. I'm pretty sure about it. 
Talk to you tomorrow. See you online. La ciao. Hey, it was great to walk with you today. I hope to see you again around soon. By the way, in the meantime, you can find me on mom's social media. If you look for Marta Basso, which is M A R T A B A S O. Yes, it's Marta without an H. Just find us, send us a like, a comment, a message, reshare the episode if you liked it. I will send you all my hugs and kisses and a bit of barks as well. Listen, oh, sorry, walk with you next episode. Bye!